They broke school policy, but did they break the law? Good question, and that's what police and prosecutors have to find out after six students were suspended from a Huron County High School for allegedly sharing a pornographic photo of another student. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more on what the school district is doing to make sure this doesn't happen again. The superintendent says all six students were suspended late last week and they all received the same punishment. But by law, the school was required to report the incident to police. It's a place of learning in life's learning curve. Fortunately, it's, it's the hard way in this case. When we talked to each student, it, it just started snowballing. Six high school students, all reportedly underclassmen, are now suspended, accused of sharing on social media potentially pornographic picture of a fellow student. Superintendent Jeff Ritt says the district began investigating immediately after some students expressed concern. We didn't search any phones. Um, we saw no pictures. The kids uh, who were all involved were very forthright and very honest and very cooperative. Because the student depicted in the photo is a minor, Willard police are looking into whether it constitutes child pornography. The superintendent tells News 5 the student depicted in the photograph adamantly denies it was her. As part of the police investigation, the phones belonging to the students involved will be forensically searched. Britt says the case comes just weeks after the district held assemblies educating students and parents on the perils of sexting and social media. I think people know that it's a serious issue um, that is ever evolving and it, we just have to do a good job of educating our parents, our staff and our students. Plenty of people do it, you know, and you don't really think it's a bad thing until you know, word gets out about it and stuff like that. Ben Holiday, a senior, hopes the incident educates his fellow classmates. And Ritz joins him in that hope because life's learning curve only grows steeper. Dealing with the issue for us is educating the kids, getting it to, to stop and educating them to know what they did was wrong and to continue that into the future. The Willard police chief tells me that it will be up to the local prosecutor to determine what charges, if any, should be filed in this case. Reporting in Willard, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.